This week I decided to wake up at 5 a.m. <laughs> As if that hasn't been done before. Well, not only did I want to test this out to see if it made me more productive, happy, but to see if I could grow closer to God. <laughs> yep, the man with the plan, my homie, Snoop Doggy Dog, the man in the heavens, okay? This year I have not shied away from showing you guys how I'm growing in my faith and I wanted to take you along on this ride. In a world that's so full of so many distractions and things you could be doing for the next week, I'm choosing to focus my first hour of the day on God. Will he speak to me? Will I be enlightened? Hmm, keep on watching. Also, huge thank you to Fabletics for sponsoring this video. As always, if you like these kinds of videos, give it a thumbs up. If you don't, give it a thumbs down. That just kind of shows me how you feel about certain content. Freedom of speech, freedom of rap. Don't forget the man with the plan up there is watching, yeah. I'd like to be a part of the generation that rises up. I want to continue to shed light on God's kingdoms. Those ain't my words. Those are Sadie Robinson. Hallelujah. Okay. I believe a good morning routine sets the tone for the day, but especially an intentional one. So I'm going to take you through mine. Okay. At 5 a.m. Let's do it. So my routine went a little bit like this. I woke up and I prayed. I did a little bit of devotional work. Then I started with a nice little tea ritual because I want to create habits that align with what I want to do. So tea in the morning, amazing. It could be coffee for you. It could be Starbucks. It could be anything you want. And I wanted to set the ambience a little bit with a little candle, a shajum, bashum, a bothum, you know? <laughs> Just want to remind you that moments of quiet, moments of peace can be anywhere. I want to sincerely ask you, when was the last time you had a moment of solitude? Like just complete solitude without any distractions? Let me know down below. And then when was the last time you were in godly solitude? You see, for me, I've never really done this. I've never really like positioned myself in a way where I want to like feel God. I'm always like, okay, I don't feel God. Where is he? Where's Jesus? I don't know. But I'm also not seeking him. So it's a two-way relationship. So that's what this challenge was all about for me. I just want to exude love for God. Day two was a challenge. Day one, I felt amazing, accomplished, productive, happy. I felt like I put myself first. I was my first priority in the day. And sometimes we forget to do that, girl. And why? Why do we do that for ourselves? Why do we do that? Why? But day two, oh girl, it went downhill from there. What happened on day two? You shall find out. I'm so upset at myself. I woke up really late. I ended up sleeping late because I spoke to some friends and it was a great time. The night just kept going and I, I went to bed late. Dennis was talking to me, you know, we were just chatting. He wanted to watch a movie. I was like, mm. I don't know. Literally, hold on. Last thing I said last night, I was like praying to God. I was like, oh my gosh, please help me wake up early, okay? All of a sudden, I open my eyes. I look at the clock. It's 4.30 in the morning. Granted, I went to sleep at literally like 12.30. So I've only slept a few hours. And I'm like, thank you God for waking me up, but I gotta go back to sleep. Okay, I've only slept for like three hours. So I went back to sleep. Ended up waking up at 9.00. 10 in the morning and I feel like my whole morning is ruined and something that I just realized really is that without a morning routine for me I feel out of whack creatively I feel like my day is being rushed and I just didn't have time to prioritize myself and so I need to do stuff for me in the morning I need to fill my soul I need to fill my tummy I need to stretch I need to move my body and not just leave that for the end of the day because now I'm literally sitting with all this to-do list of things I have to do and I'm not inspired and I'm angry and that's my little rant will this make it in I don't know we'll see I feel so good. Yay, the sun is rising. It hurts, but it's beautiful. Thank you, God. Oh, Dennis being a total mood. We were just talking about how yesterday I had a little mini panic attack. Mini. And um, <laughs> today, what it was it that you said? I said. Today I started my day with Jesus. And then Dennis said. I was like, any day you start with turkey bacon is a good day. Turkey bacon day. That's good. First. Got a little tea. I wanted to give you an update because yesterday was a low point for me. Okay. I had a mini episode. Mini. Like a, a panic attack. I was just like crying. Literally, I was like sobbing in bed. I feel that not only is the morning routine so important in my life, also it tells me, hey Natalie, you're prioritizing yourself first before all the other to-do lists. Who's calling me? And speaking of prioritizing, something I've been doing is I have been on it with my fitness and with my health. And today Fabletics is sponsoring this video. I'm super excited. This is a set from them from last month It's so beautiful. Like I just love being at home loungy and feeling sexy. You know what I mean? Like Dennis is like looking at me from the side He's like, Okay, that's my door. I'm like, yes, it is 
So I'm gonna show you some of my favorite pieces for them this month. So this is actually my second year working with Fabletics and I love this brand so much. First of all, they're literally putting out new styles every single Thursday. Okay, girl, like that's a lot of work. Thank you Fabletics for doing this. There's always something fun, always something nice. This is one of my favorite ones for this month. I don't have anything like it. I love cuts like this, the texture, the styling. It's just like very abstract and fun and it's a dream. It's a dream, so soft and so wonderful. Another one of my favorite ones, this is the one that I was crying in yesterday, okay? I was crying, but I was comfortable. This is so comfy. When I say this is the comfiest thing I own, these pants on my jam. I have them in black as well, just because I love them so, so much. I don't even know what's like so special about them. I mean, they have pockets and stuff, but they literally feel like PJs or like I'm being hugged by a cloud and I absolutely love it. I also love the color. It's very muted and beautiful. And then we have this gorgeous bra, which I also own in like seven different colors. Maybe Maybe five, I don't know. I mean, I got little ones, so there's not much to, to get in there, but still, I absolutely love it. Sometimes I do work out with this. I don't do a lot of like high impact jumps, but yoga or anything just nice and fun. And then this one, girl, if you just want all eyes on you, this is the one, check it out. Like I love how they're always experimenting with different styles and patterns and layers. Like they're not afraid to go in, okay? These are some really awesome leggings, super fun, perfect for like the upcoming season. And then this little top, I actually have it in pink as well. It is so comfortable. So beautiful it's actually not cropped even though it looks like it it's incredible i'm gonna be wearing this to rock climbing all day every day i love it as always with anything fabletics i highly recommend you join vip because you get any two bottoms for 24 dollars okay so we know how expensive leggings can be if you take like lululemon they're like over 70 bucks and these are really great quality plus when you do join vip you get free shipping and 50 percent off your first order it cannot get better than that and you're looking cute and flat all the time if you're interested be sure to check out my link in the bio also when you join vip you get access to different perks like their new app Fabletics Fit which has some of the best trainers and just fun classes and you can do from right at home at your comfort whatever you're into again if you're interested feel free to check out the link in my bio that's Jupiter he's telling me girl where you at I'm going boy I also continue doing this day four day five day six day seven but I didn't record it girl because I also just wanted some holy time with God without having to like move the camera position myself and then like walk awkwardly you know because youtubers have to do that like you literally position the camera pretend like you're going out and then you walk back in it's the most awkward thing of life. So overall, my biggest takeaway of this is if you want to feel God in your life, you have to position yourself to feel him. Show up. Be present to do the work. Be present. Be in the moment. Now, prayer and Bible work go hand in hand. But in my honest opinion, I also feel like just having that connection with God throughout the day. Overall, this challenge made me more happy, more productive. It's really just that simple. I just took the first part of my day when the world was still sleeping. Why ain't nobody texting me? Ain't nobody emailing me? I was the captain of the ship. You know, I encourage you to wake up earlier. I encourage you to wake up and read your Bible first thing in the morning. Your mind is clear, your spirit, your conscious, all these things, you know? But I will say for me, 5 a.m. just ain't it anymore. I'm all about self-care. I'm all about getting my 10 hours of sleep. I'm all about indulging in it. So for me, I'm just gonna be waking up at eight in the morning and doing what I'm doing, which is like my devotional. I start my day like that. I do a little healthy breakfast. I do a little workout. I walk Jupiter and I'm happy, healthy, and thriving. But I wrote this down. If there's anything I've learned from attempting to embrace the season you're in while wanting to pursue the call of God. It's learning the importance of being content and allowing yourself to be used exactly where he has you. In retrospect, when I think back to like high school, I'm like, oh no, that was a really good time because I just got to chill. I just got to relax. Like to be honest, okay, adulthood is hard people. Now I'm in a season of life where I'm like, when's that next big thing? When's that transition in life? And whenever that is, I'm going to enjoy it right now for what it is. I'm going to be content. So I just wanted to ask you if there's anything that you are waiting on God, let me know how you're feeling. Let's just kind of vent in the comments. Let me know how you're feeling. You could be angry at God for certain things in life. You could uh, be really content with him. Like just give me everything down below. Okay, down below. I love you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Super simple. I know my faith videos don't do the best and that's okay because it's something I really care about. And at the end of the day, this channel is things that I care about. I just want to do things that make me happy and hopefully also inspire you a little bit. So I love you guys. We'll see you next time. Bye. Is that what the hell's going on? Ew. It's watching, yeah.